Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we're making this amazing, award-winning crock-pot chili recipe. It's filled with beef, beans, and veggies with a kick thanks to our secret spice blend and a handful of jalapenos. Your guests are going to love this chili, and once you've had a taste, you'll know why it's one of the best crock-pot chili competition recipes you'll find. Here's a look at the first set of our ingredients, and you'll find the entire recipe in the description box below. First, we're going to get our vegetables ready, chopping up one red, one green, and one jalapeno peppers, three stalks of celery, and one small onion. And if this is your first time on our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives, and we'll show you how to make delicious dishes you can proudly share with your friends and family, like this super easy crock pot chili recipe, which will also serve you well in your next chili cook-off competition. Roughly chop the red and green peppers and the celery. Remove the seeds from the jalapeno and dice half of it. Or if your crew likes it spicy, use the whole jalapeno. How spicy do you like your chili? Let me know in the comments below. Peel and dice one small yellow onion. Once our veggies are all chopped and ready, fry up five pieces of smoked thick cut bacon. I've cut these slices in half to make it easier to get them all in the pan. I usually cook my bacon in the oven, but we're going to be using the bacon fat to saute our vegetables and to give our beef a flavor boost, so that's why we're going to be using a large cast iron skillet today. When the bacon is nice and crisp, remove it and drain on a paper towel lined plate. Add the chopped veggies and saute for about 5 minutes over medium heat until they're tender. Then remove them from the pan, draining off the bacon grease as well as you can. We're going to cook the ground beef in two batches, about one pound in each batch so that the meat isn't crowded and has enough room to brown and not steam. Break the ground beef into nice sized chunks, about one to two inches thick, and use tongs to turn them in the bacon grease. If you love to entertain, check out our playlist of dessert recipes and potluck favorites. All simple to make and I guarantee they taste incredible. When the first batch of beef is done, remove from the pan and repeat with the second pound. Now for the spice mixture. We'll need four tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of white sugar, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon seasoned salt, three teaspoons of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of basil, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. This spice mixture is packed with tons of flavor, but it's still mild enough for almost everyone to enjoy. To add more spice, you can add more chili powder, or more cayenne pepper at this stage. I love that this is a crock pot recipe. It's so easy to put together in the morning and have delicious chili ready by dinner. Okay, now we're ready to assemble in the crock pot. Pour one 10 and a half ounce can of beef consomme and one six ounce can of tomato paste into the slow cooker and stir. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us and your support means so much to us. Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and our spice mixture, and then stir thoroughly to incorporate. I like to taste my chili at this point to see if I might need to add more salt or spices. Make any additions that you like, and then add two cans of diced tomatoes with the juice, one can of chili beans, and one can of kidney beans, both undrained. Add the cooked bacon. I'm cutting mine into pieces right into the crock pot. Add the ground beef and the sauteed vegetables, and stir to mix everything together. Then just cover and cook on low for about six hours. Our crock pot chili is ready. Dive in and fix yourself a bowl 
and serve with a chili fixin' bar. Today I'm serving it with Fritos, sour cream, cheese, more jalapenos, so many choices. Your guests are going to love this chili, and once you've had a taste, you'll know why it's one of my favorites. Doesn't this look gorgeous? A thick, spicy red sauce, lots of color from the red, green, and jalapeno peppers, the onions, and the celery, and then the two different kinds of beans and big pieces of beef. This chili is so delicious. Now you know why I just can't stop eating it. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new recipe. Here's some more great recipes I think you'll like. I'll see you in the next video.